I guess it's letting it unfold and not letting your mm. preconceived ideas or your judgments cloud. Cause yeah, if I was interviewing a porn star, I would have a whole list of questions that my judgments basically would have assessed and determined that these are the important things to ask. But yeah, then you get in there and you realize I know nothing <laughs> and this is different than what I thought was important to talk about, I guess. Yeah. And I think what's, what's difficult about just at listening to, as you're talking, I think, I think what's difficult about listening is that you to really be a good listener, um, which is something I'm struggling and slowly getting better at, I think, but it's, it's always progress, but like listening, you know, to be a good listener, you have to go into a conversation knowing that little parts of you are going to die. You know, those little judgments that hold and are the fabric and the glue of your ego are going to die. And to be willing to confront that when someone says something that changes your view of the world and yourself, it, like it's tough because it's like, no, this is who I am. This is the way the world works. This makes sense to me. When someone says something like, you know, porn gives my life meaning and, you know, I feel very liberated from it as one example, you know, is just like, Oh, well then what does that mean about me just to a, to a proportional degree? And I think that's really challenging, but it's also a, a lovely skill to acquire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Listening is such an art form, isn't it? It's such a skill and it's such a, um, I reckon a lot of people think that listening is something they're good at or that they think is like, I don't know, like a standard thing that like, I know how to brush my teeth. And so I know how to be a good listener. And it's like, no, how, how do you like, how would you explain it? Like, so someone's listening and going, I think I'm a good listener. How do I know if I'm a good listener? Or what are this, what are the traits of a good listener? Like, what have you learned either through podcasts or through counseling other people? What are good what makes a good listener? How is, how is someone a good listener? Yeah. That, that, and, and I think counseling has helped me so much with that. Um, it's because it forces you to do that because like, you know, we live in a world of subjectivity. Everyone has their own different experience. And if you can't listen well in, in the therapy, in the therapy world, um, you're going to go into every specific session thinking that what worked for you will subsequently work for everyone. And that's so not true. And you learn that very quickly or you don't have any money. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. that, that, that's important to, to know. But um, I think um, what, what makes, what makes someone a good listener? Um, maybe even a better question to ask is like, how can you become a good listener? Hmm. And what, what helped me in the, in the beginning was like, what did I want out of the conversation? And I think when you identify as a learner, that implicitly states that you're willing to give up the parts of you that um, aren't willing to go along with whatever the other person who's saying, who actually might be an expert in their field. Mm -hmm. And that's what's so humbling about interviewing experts such as yourself, um, <laughs> you know, all, all these people, it's just like, they know a hell of a lot more than you. Mm -hmm. If you're not going to at least um, play around with that, then you're not going to get very far. So I think like, becoming a good listener. Um, and that, and that goes well with, with the counseling and the, and the therapeutic world as well. No one knows themselves better than, than themselves. Mm -hmm. So for you to say, Oh, well, maybe you should do this. It's like, well, no, they shouldn't. You know, why would they do that? Like, why do you think they haven't tried doing that? Like what's blocking them from doing that? You know, um, they know themselves a hell of a lot better than you ever will, despite what they say, mm -hmm. you know? So I think all of that stuff really helps as well. Um, Carl Rogers um, in the 20th century spoke about this idea of listening. And one thing that really helped me with um, just with my, in my personal relationships as well, was that if I was coming up to, if, if I would find, you know, consistent disagreements or, or arguments presenting themselves or whatever, one thing that really helps me is to um, say to them what I think they were trying to say to me. Mm -hmm. And if, and if I got that wrong, well then obviously it's on me that I wasn't listening. And so then I, I want to be able to try to say back to them exactly where they're coming from mm -hmm. so that at least my argument is based off, you know, their own merit, what they're saying. Mm -hmm. um, so that really helps as well, I suppose. But yeah. Mm -hmm. 